Tim. Hey, how's it going? It's great to see you again. Yeah. I mean, Welcome to another DTLT today. And we're on like, what, day four without Jim? Yeah, it's it's kind of like... Um, I've gotten pretty oh, used to... Oh, shit. Hi, hey, guys. Holy hey, look who's God. here. Hey. Look at that. It's Jim Groom, it's I think. Is, are you Jim Groom? I almost, Jim didn't, Groom. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you. You know, we've had the altar here Thank waiting you. for you. <laughs> Thank you for, for the placeholder. Yeah, no problem. I was kind of getting used to the placeholder, but it's, you That's know, now I... That's the talk in the office right now is maybe you and Tim are getting too used to me being the same. <laughs> it's kind of like the, cal the, the couch is, the cuddle couch is unbalanced today for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, I can see. I mean, I don't know what's going on between you two, but I'm a little bit nervous. Well, we had a real rhythm going, I think, Tim and Tim and I did. And now, well, you know, we'll see. Don't let me get in the way of that. <laughs> We'll see whether but you Jim, know. But Jim's the gas in our engine, so sure. it's good to have you back. Yeah, he's like the he's like the tambourine player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like you guys are off and running have again. Have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for joining us. That's the show. All right, great. Big now, toe. what are we here to talk about? We got some box on the table here. We do. We've got What's up a with that? Microsoft Connect, which is another awesome toy from George Meadows. Shout faculty. out to George Meadows. Same guy who awesome. gave Thanks, us the George. Newton and the Sony Mavica camera and stuff. But this he actually gave us to start playing around with because he has a 3D printer, a MakerBot, on order. And one of the things that we're looking at is being able to do three-dimensional scans of people's faces with the Connect and actually print them out with plastic. And all part of a bigger seminar that he's thinking about teaching alongside Tim in the fall called maker bots and mashups right which is going to be insane yeah it's going to so, be awesome so so awesome. he drops this thing off with me on wednesday night thursday something like that yep. and i start firing up these programs and so i found a lot of cool things and i thought it would make a pretty good episode to start playing around yeah. with some stuff me and andy were super am i getting in your way are you feeling the no, imbalance i was about to say i was about to say something but go ahead <laughs> I'm so used to, you know, answering Tim's questions, so, yeah, but go yeah. ahead. I, I do feel like a third wheel right now. But we did, Andy and I, together, you know, not separately, saw Tron in the office earlier and did weren't you? sure exactly what to do with Tron. <laughs> yeah, there things, all kinds of things vibrating on this, <laughs> on this body. It almost looked pornographic. Yeah. It, it really did. And I didn't know you were watching, sorry. <laughs> yes. Rather attractive We as were. Well. All right, so I should probably show them what I'm talking about here. Sure. Um, <laughs> the evil Andy what I have to do. All right, so do you I need do I need to we need to hit a button, right? Switch over to shot two. Okay. And I'm gonna turn my mic on. Okay. We got a special preview here. We're using the medium shot as it two should now. Be used. Sure, go ahead. As usual. All right. Check. All right, so my audio is still coming through. So I switched over to this mic so you can hear me and you can see me up on the screen. And I've actually got to connect. I can probably pull this camera around and show you. There's the Kinect just sitting on top of my iMac. Uh, but what I want to show you all is there's this piece of software called Synapse, which this guy developed. And basically, the idea behind it is that it can take your input from your joint movement, so your hands and your feet moving around, and it can send it as MIDI signals. So MIDI is the um, protocol where you can send audio type signals to a computer, sure. it's actually what controls that board over there to do wire cast shots, which means you could probably do hand motions and... Do that. Uh-huh. So, here I am. Let me move this over so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It goes black a little bit on there. That's yeah, it's been flashing back and forth, and I'm not quite sure what that's about. But basically, the idea behind this is the first thing, and this is the goofiest <laughs> part of it, because it actually seems to take a while, but you actually have to stand up here and get it to recognize your skeleton. But that didn't take too long at all. <laughs> so, so there's my trot action. <laughs> so, 
Yes. <laughs> so now it's actually recognizing the uh, skeleton. Man, the frame rate's awful on that, but I don't really know what to do about that. But hopefully the audio will come through on this. So at this point, it knows where my hands and where my feet are and everything, and it can follow my motions and my movement. Now, that other program behind there is called Ableton Live. And Ableton uh, Live is a program that can accept any sort of input devices, whether they be keyboards or be controller interfaces, and it can play out the music. So now my body is controlling that. So if I move my hands like this, it starts the music. And then you can do another motion, and it stops. So if I move it, start it on, and now if I move my left hand up, Oh right, that's the that's that's the the Britney Spears. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make the Britney Spears. Give me something. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to stop that. We're coming up the stairs, so Timmy stepped right through the door. <laughs> no. So that's one thing that we've been looking at. But actually, another one that I want to show people real quick is close this out. Yeah, that's okay. And this is and this is all free software. Now the Ableton's not. Uh, I downloaded a trial just to play around with that. Uh, but the input devices and things. So the Connect is like ninety nine dollars. And then all this software people have been writing is free. They've just been putting it out there, open source code, to get the input from the camera and do ridiculous things with it. Um, so I'm going to close this and open up one other thing. I mentioned the three-dimensional stuff where we can um, basically print out our faces, and I want to show you what that looks like. Yeah, and I compared it to Star Wars with the uh, kryptonite thing. Carbonite. So, carbonite, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so, right. Hand Solo. Yep. Yeah, so here That's I am. So awesome. And you can actually choose how much of your face you want to come out here like this, and then you could save this file and print it out directly. And if I turn this, you can see that it actually is three-dimensional. There's my face coming out here. <laughs> Move your hands out. <laughs> <laughs> you do need to, do, yeah, there, there's the, right. the Han Solo and horror. Yeah. So That's pretty, right. pretty yeah, wild like stuff. This. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh. That is hold awesome, on. to boy. Do one of those. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, um, just some really cool stuff we've been playing around with the Connect, and really awesome stuff that we get to play around with. Uh, one, right? Yeah, go ahead and switch back. Yeah. <coughs> I'm you, that's impressive, amazing Jedi. Stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, um, so that's what I've been doing today <laughs> and Friday. And yeah, and you've been actually, let's talk about this a little bit. Hmm. You've been actually talking to me again and again about the work I'm not doing. <laughs> <laughs> That seems to be your job. There's no need to be defensive. <coughs> you're, you're the big thing. I'm beginning to feel like not the big thing. <laughs> you are representing us in the speaking engagements and the traveling and drinking and things. So I appreciate, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your work in and that thing. And I've been representing you well in every well, single category. Good. So you'll good. be happy to know. No, that's that's awesome. How long did it take you to kind of get this stuff up and running? Well, like I said, he gave it to us like last Wednesday or Thursday, and I mean almost immediately with the um, the three dimensional printing program. I mean it was already compiled. It was just you know open it up, run it, and there it was. And then today I just started now playing with the audio stuff. When do we get so. the bot? Because he was saying that he wants to keep the bot over a trinkle. <laughs> I think we should have the bot. We here. need to bring it over into the office. We really do. Uh, he's, it's already on order. So it should be coming within the next several weeks, I think. So we could so. print out Timmy Boy as Han Solo, mm. a 3D version of that. Yeah, I so would that's love awesome. it. We got to do some DS106 art. Yeah. 
in the maker box. I, what I want is Doctor Oblivion stuck in the internet, and that would be like an amazing little action figure. Type Tell him about the the frost in was it frosting? The Frostruder. Frostruder. Yeah, he, he says he hasn't ordered that yet, uh, but it's something that's possible where you're printing not with plastic but with cupcake icing. So you can actually print three-dimensionally these objects on top of cake and things and with frosting. And it will print out, you know, whatever object you put in. So you could have your Dr. Oblivion cupcakes and eat them. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that looking forward awesome. to a Timmy Boy. It's tons of fun. Star Wars Han Solo cupcake. Yeah. That's amazing. Sounds delicious. That stuff is great. I love it. It makes... It, this kind of stuff feels like what this office should be, which is a research and development facility. Yeah, not all of it's going to be educational type stuff all the mm -hmm. times. So you might not always find that application, but these are like the foundations of where amazing things happen. And you want to be in with that community. You want to be the hackers and the geeks that are figuring this stuff out. And that's mm -hmm. where amazing things come from. Well, look, I think Timmy, I mean, uh, Noise Professor is saying he has a Z450 in his lab. Yeah. He has one of these. Yeah. Uh, well, not the connect. They, that's a um, 3D printer. It's a full-blown yeah. 3D printer. Yeah, he was sending me some pictures of that stuff. So, wow. that's awesome. yeah, yeah. We would love to know what you're doing with this, Zach, because I think like, like with the video stuff, and you know, just to speak about the stuff we're doing, talk about lab stuff. We were brought up in the Richmond Dispatch, or is it the Richmond Times? Richmond, Richmond Times, Times Dispatch. Dispatch. Right. Yeah. And so basically, they talked very <laughs> briefly about what all Andy and Timmy are doing here with this video setup, streaming, the EC3 on Amazon, <laughs> all that stuff. I mean, everyone, right? And then yeah. the whole thing, like, from New York City with an iPod Touch and a wireless connection, I could stream that stuff better quality than Justin yeah, or anything right there. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing to me. Right. No ads, pennies per hour. I mean, it's incredible stuff. I mean, this is, this is the research. This is the lab. This is where I want to be working. Yeah. You know? And I'd be interested to see, Zach, what you're doing with that stuff and how we could kind of play with that. Because, you know, we've been pushing blogs and wiki here for so long. Mm -hmm. And I still think, you know, that's always going to be pushed. But for me, man, that's like air now. It's like, yeah. what next? You know what I mean? Like, that's here. Yeah. It's like, we don't have to sell that. Yeah, and the three-dimensional printing, there's, it's like it's something tangible. It's not just hacking in the, you know, bits and bytes type of stuff. But it's physical things that you can create digitally on the computer and then hold in your hand, which is just mind-blowing to me. Yeah. If George is up to it, I think for DS-106 next semester, there's going to be a physical material part of that yeah. built in. Right. And you if, can he's, if he's cool with and it. And you can definitely expect that we'll be bringing tons of swag to Northern Voice next year. Absolutely. <laughs> to talk about this That's right, man. I think we should go as a crew. Yeah. Yeah. To I think so too. Make so. save the money. We'll make sure we have it. Yeah. So. Cool. I think that's all we've it. got to talk about. Yeah. So. Short and sweet. It's good to be back. Yeah. Thanks it's, for the warm welcome. Good to have you back. When are you leaving again? Good. I'm leaving on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and then I won't be back for hmm. two and a half weeks. I'm gone for most of the next. I won't be back till we'll, November 7th. We will continue. <laughs> We will continue to carry you in your absence here. No, remember, I'm Jesus. <laughs> I leave the, I'm my footsteps. Right. Well, we'll That's we'll me. Have, we'll, we'll have some kind of representative obelisk of, of, of you here. Why don't you make her bot me yeah. That's and right. sit That's, me yeah. here like this? Yeah, if that printer comes in soon enough, we'll make a cupcake. I just there wanted to say, you know, before I do leave, I'll be on tomorrow's show, but then I will be gone. I'm confident that you two can fly alone now. <laughs> you weren't so sure before? No, now I'm okay. confident. Good. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> be free love is setting you free what did what did sting say free free set, set them, them free, free. <laughs> if you love somebody <laughs> set jim groom free <laughs> thanks for watching folks see, see you later today later